Today, I'm gonna make some cold frame tops for those IBC totes. Getting ready for the cold weather. Try to grow some of these greens as long as I can into the season. So I've got the first, the box part, the frame, first frame, and it just, just sits on the top rail all the way around. I am going to get some half inch EMT straps and probably, you know, one in each corner, maybe four places, just strap it down. And um, that'll be the subframe. Now, over there... I used the window and I did that last year on a different tote and I just screwed a little hinge on the between the two windows and so that I can lift it up in water and pick from either side and I was picking greens until January 9th last year and so I you know this is still an experiment but I think as long as I have sun every few days, a couple days, I can theoretically grow greens all winter. The temperature doesn't get too brutal here, and these are cold, hardy crops to begin with, or, you know, cold tolerant to some degree. And so what, what I plan to do is when I build the upper frame, I'm going to angle it a little. I'm going to angle it that way. Not that much, but just a little bit, because you know the sun. The sun travels this way, and of course it's still pretty high now. In the winter, it'll be much lower. And I want to try to capture that on the face of the plastic, so I won't, you know, sit it flat. I'll angle it. And um, in the summertime, if you're building it like a greenhouse or any kind of, you know, thing for the starters in the spring or whatever, whether it's frames or a greenhouse, or, you know, a structure, you want some kind of venting. But in this case, because we're dealing with winter and the colder climates, I believe, and again, this is only my second attempt at this, so, you know, I'm kind of learning as I go, but I believe that I don't want any venting whatsoever. So you can see here, you know, the square frame and the cage is rounded on the tote. I, I believe I have to cover these up. I believe I want to cover these up. I want to try to get these as sealed as possible so that when the heat from the sun hits the plastic and heats this area up and the soil up, that it actually doesn't, you know, that heat doesn't just bleed out through these corners or through wherever. And so you can kind of see even here, you know, it's not going to be airtight by any means. And what I think I'm going to do is just get some poly, some black poly, or maybe even just the poly I use for the top, and just staple it along here and just drape it in into the container and uh, tape it down or whatever. And then that should form a pretty decent seal. Of course, it doesn't have to be airtight, but it's as close as I can get it. And so I believe that's what I'm going to do. And what I'm, what I'm going to do now is I'm attempting to build these as much as I can with the materials I have on hand. Because I'm certain that I have to go to Lowe's at some point. I know I have to go to get the poly anyway. And some more two buys. And so I want to try to get this one mocked up as close as I can. Because along the way I'll discover things that I need that I didn't think of. And for instance, the straps... To hold this frame down now you know i mean is it really going anywhere not really but a couple straps will keep it just keep it sturdy and i think that's definitely the way to go now i hadn't thought of that so after i set this on here you know it became clear to me that that was probably a good idea so this is why i don't make a list and go to lowe's very first thing because it's a half an hour trip to lowe's so it's an hour round trip and if you go and get everything, come back, then discover you need something else, you got to go back again. That inevitably happens anyway, so 
um, I try to minim minimize those trips as much as I can. And so mocking this up as much as I can before I go the first time, you know, usually avoids at least one trip, hopefully. <laughs> so it's kind of where I'm at with that. But I've got some more materials. I said I do have to get some more two buys, but I'm going to try to build the top frame. The top frame is going to be hinged, and as I said, it's going to be angled like that. So stay tuned. We'll see where we're going with that. We finished it up none too soon the rains are coming this just started raining about 10 minutes ago and I just got a I'm gonna to put a little handle on the front here something just to grab it with or maybe you know two on each side I'm not sure that's it maybe could have been on a little more of an angle I don't know if it really shows. I'll try to get it down here. Just how much of an angle it is. It's actually a six inch on the back on top of the frame and a two by flipped over, so inch and a half. So it goes from inch and a half to six. So it's four and a half inch rise. Probably could have done eight in the back. I could always adjust it and make, you know, replace that piece and just move the sides up with a very little bit of alteration but uh it's working there's my neighbor johnny he's finishing up his leaves and he's dumping them over here for me to put in my compost and uh he's probably getting his last load too because of the rain so i'm going to pick up thank you all for watching there it is cold frame hopefully grow that spinach some of these other greens i got to make one for there and i'm going to make one for that bin outside the fence over there and hopefully i'll be growing greens well into the winter again thanks for watching god bless you